Welcome to my channel. This video is for a lamb's ear wreath. This is a very easy wreath to make. I start out with a Dollar Tree wreath form. I spray painted this lightly with white spray paint. It's just kind of that raw straw color. Um, so I spray painted it just lightly on both sides. I just kind of wanted to whitewash it a little bit. Now this lamb's ear um, I got at Hobby Lobby when they were running at 50% off, so it was very affordable. I'm using floral wire to attach it. You could hot glue it, um, but it could look a little messy and then you have to worry about the hot glue coming undone. So I prefer to use floral wire every few inches, so it's very, very easy and it would be very easy to take it off and redo it later on or to add other stuff. Now I'm just going to wrap this wreath one time, um, but if you wanted it really, really full, you could wrap it twice or even more than that. This garland is long enough to wrap this twice or to cut it in half and wrap it one time, which is what I'm doing. So I can make two wreaths out of one garland. I'm simply running the floral wire through the wreath form, uh, just where you can get it to go through. There are places, there are gaps in the wreath form that you can run it through. And then I'm twisting it very, very tightly. I'm getting my needle nose pliers and twisting it tightly. Now you might have, it might snap into um, if you do it too tightly, but I want it on there really snugly. And then you have to cut the floral wire down and kind of hide the end. You don't want that poking up. So I kind of curl it under and try to get it into the wreath form. So you want it hidden as much as possible and of course no sharp edges. Now you just keep doing this. Go every uh, one to two inches and add floral wire and twist tightly and hide it. I did go through at the end and cut off a little bit more of the floral wire because when you kind of turned it sideways you could see where I had twisted it under so I I cut them down as much as I could without it coming undone and then curled the the ends down I'm going to fast forward here to the very end. I'm almost done wrapping it. I could have cut the garland in half, but I was a little concerned I'd come up a little short, so I didn't feel comfortable doing that. But it ended up being half the garland, so I would have been okay. Uh, the very end there, you will want to tuck that into the wreath, and you will want to add a little hot glue just to make sure it doesn't pop out, and I will show that in a minute. Now I'm going to make a bow for the wreath and I'm using this neutral ribbon so it can be, this is a Christmas ribbon but it doesn't have to be for Christmas since it's black and white. Now this ribbon is really an outdoor ribbon and what I mean by that is the inner layer is kind of plasticky so it will hold up better in the weather. But it does make it really stiff and it can be a little bit more difficult to make a bow with it. Um, I believe I bought this ribbon at Walmart last year, last season. 
after Christmas, so it was on sale, and I don't know if you can find that again this year or not. I have not looked at their ribbons, but if you're wanting some of that, that's where I got it. The tail is 18 inches long. You just want to pinch it at the 18 inch mark and hold on to it. That is going to be the center of your bow. Make a loop. Uh, the loop is going to be 12 inches long. So if you want to make a bow the exact size I'm making, I'm showing you the measurements. Just again pinch it and then it's very important that you twist the ribbon that way your pattern is always on top. So make a, make a loop, twist the ribbon, and I'm going to measure out each loop for you and that way the, even, or the bow will be even, each loop will be even. So I'm going to make six total loops, three on each side. I've got all my loops made, so I'm going to make another tail, and you just want to twist the tail where you want it, measure that out. Now you can go ahead and tie your bow and then cut the last tail. I do it different every time. It just depends on your preference and what's easier for you because you're, you know, you're holding on to the bow and trying to cut the tail at the same time. So it's easier to go ahead and tie off your bow and then cut the tail. I guess I don't always think about that though while I'm doing it. I am using a cable tie, a small cable tie to attach it in the center. You can just use a Chanel stem or floral wire, whatever you have. This will make it really, really tight in the center, which is good. You want it tied off as tightly as possible in the center. It just makes the loops look better. And I will attach either a Chanel stem or tinsel wire or something in the center. That way you can attach it to your wreath or your lantern or whatever you're attaching the bow to. Now you just want to trim up your ends. I'm going to cut a V shape. You can cut them straight across and just tuck them under if you want to. It's how whatever your preference is. I'm going to do that on both of them. Now this ribbon, the good thing about this ribbon too is it's not going to fray because of that plastic backing. Now these ties are heavier duty. Uh, they're called different things like uh, garland ties, uh, pine, tinsel, I, you know, just different things. I kind of call it tinsel wire because it's the same thickness as tinsel wire, even though it's like a pine design. You know, it looks like a tree or something. So it's really good for Christmas stuff. Anyway, it's heavy duty, so it's gonna hold up well. And then it'll give you that greenery look. Now you can attach the bow anywhere on the wreath you want, at the top, on the side, at the bottom. I actually moved it around several times and decided on the bottom at the end. And it is a big bow. Uh, you may want just a small bow. You may just want like two loops or four loops. So just whatever you want, however you want the look to be. Now you can simply wrap it around the wreath form and tie it off, or you can run it through the wreath form, which is what I'm trying to do here. It'll help keep those ties kind of hidden, but it can be more difficult to get it through there. So I'm just trying to find a, a big enough hole to run those through and tie it off, but that way it won't be noticeable. You can either trim that down or try to tuck it in, but you do want to hide it and you don't want it sticking out where it's going to scratch a door. Now just twist your bow around wherever you're wanting it. You may want it, so you've got it, I've got it off centered a little bit and fix your loops however you want them.
Now, if you want your tails to kind of curl over, um, you don't want them like spirally, but you're wanting them to kind of curl around the wreath, that's a little trick there for you. Just hold on to it at the base of the bow, the center of the bow, and then just pull on those tails and it'll give it a nice natural curl. But if you want to spiral your tails, simply roll them up like I'm doing here and then you'll find the very end and you'll just gently pull on it and it'll give it a nice spiral. So it's just whatever look you are going for. Now here's where I am hot gluing the very end in there. So just want to add a little hot glue to the very end of the garland and just tuck it into the wreath and it will stay there hopefully but it'll be a lot better than just leaving it in there without hot glue because it will give it a little bit more security. Okay guys, that is it. It was very easy, like I said. Anybody can do this. I hope you guys subscribe, but don't forget to tap the bell for notifications. Share, like, comment, comment with any questions or anything you'd like to see or if there was something I didn't show you. But Please be kind with your comments and be kind to others and happy holidays.